the most painful thing in our generation today is that we are following media and following the news and all that to lose value for spiritual things but we don't even know that these people talking and writing articles and these occults and all that it's not that they don't believe in spirituality they only don't believe in christianity so if you let go your christian life and you live a life void of spirituality you will die a miserable death those people will write articles on tithe as if you were a devil to pay tithe but they go to other altars and sacrifice their body some of them are sick because of power they sacrifice their hearts they have heart problems because they had to ascend a certain authority and the sacrifice they had to make was to give away their kidney give away their heart and they are suffering but it's the sacrifice for that power and they come back and tell you that christianity we are wasting your time we are pushing you pastors and all that insulting us but you don't even know those people are more spiritual than some of the pastors the only difference between us is that we come on open altars they go on secret altars listen the people we call carnal they are only carnal by eliminating god but they are not carnal they are very spiritual they are involved they are involving satan in many things they do that we rise up most of us rise up from the bed start makeup and walk away you are going to meet a boss who worshiped his idol for three hours in the night and he comes in and see you holding a bible and he say you people you you spirit to people he told people but he didn't hold a bible he held something he drank blood he sacrificed his son he sacrificed his child some people sacrifice deadly things parents they understand what sacrifices and they trivialize sacrifice before you they just gave away their mother but come to insult you that you gave away 10 percent of your money they know what they are doing and it will take a spiritual mind to understand that this matter i can be a spiritual man but without a spiritual mind i will end up dying miserably not everything you see is a non-living thing can you imagine that moses is walking about sees a burning bush fire all around the bush yet the bush was intact in the fire approaches it and he hears a voice from the bush how can you have a certain mountain following you and you never knew this thing is not normal and exactly what he did to the rod that is exactly what the romans did to jesus the bible said for he shall be smitten the same way moses smite the rod that was the same way the rod came as flesh and blood and the bible said he was smitten and when he smiled the rod water came out water signifies life when he died out of his resurrection we have life and you think some things are normal not every tree you see is a tree some trees are something there are times that you see a wall jacob passing by it's not an animal you find a snake walking about it's not it's not a snake if thought he was talking to an innocent serpent he didn't know he was talking to somebody seeking for his power carnality will always push you to a place where god is there but you can't see god is there carnality is intentionally closing your life from all the realities of who god is your ability to walk god out of matters your ability to not involve god in issue you look at this and say this is not god's matter your ability to lose every consciousness about who god is that is carnality so the bible says that it is only a fool that says there is no god and sometimes we attribute foolishness in this dimension to atheists but anytime you treat anything god is involved in as if he's not involved you are being carnal in colossians chapter 3 when paul was talking about marriage and talking about work and all that he finished everything and said that whatever you do do it as unto god not unto men it means that even in marriage whatever you are doing to your wife whatever you are doing to your husband it is against god you are treating the marriage as if god is not involved there are people who are not born again but they are trying their best to have spiritual minds then we get born again spiritual people and they are trying their best to decode our minds to be natural oh this is just a wind this is just a tree i ah, know this is just listen there are buildings that eat human beings you enter you won't come back again there are forest people entered and the forest disappeared the bible says that on the judgment day this the sea will give up the people they swallowed it means that the sea capture some people they are there right now and it would only god that would demand their souls back 
so what makes you think that the sea is normal it was in revelation chapter 6 that the bible says that and he saw hell and death riding on a horse it means that even hell fire is a spirit some things are not normal so do you still think it was a common fish that swallowed jonah the bible said and god sent a fish ah thank god for some men like abraham the bible said three men were passing by and the bible said they were passing by then he called them god wanted to visit him but was still passing by he called them in and the first thing he said is that let me wash your feet of the dust can you imagine that god decides to come on earth and he intentionally walked to a point that his whole leg was dusty it would take a spiritual mind to know that god this is god when you look at his dusty feet it doesn't look like god but this is him sometimes supernatural can appear like natural but it is never natural it will take a mind that carries the spirit to understand 